Steve Jones here with the Hardscape Channel. Here I am with Warren Sellers. Warren. Hi, Steve. Good to see you. Nice to see you. A little out of season. We're not supposed to see you until October. No, we're in Milwaukee, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> Louis, no, no, Louisville, no, at the, <laughs> Louisville at the Hardscape, at the, uh, Hardscape North America event. Warren, you've been a, a big part of, uh, of, of the show becoming something. Uh, H&A started out really kind of, uh, Hardscape North America started out smallish and we struggled and not that we weren't growing but it was just, it was a struggle uh, we became part of a green industries expo so why don't you tell us where we've come in these last few years well um it started i think with a phone call from you uh where you called and said hey we've got this uh, small trade show and we're not sure what we should do with it what should we be when we grow up and we chatted for a little bit we thought you know what about an idea of co-locating with the green industry and equipment expo uh gi plus expo and so we went back to ICPI and said, look, we've got a venue. Um, we'd love to have you as a partner. Um, you joined us and uh, good success. Uh, the tenants increased, the amount of exhibit space has almost doubled and things look really good. And we just left the uh, Hardscape North America committee meeting and uh, we just voted uh, to request that the executive committee approve uh, an extension to 2016. 2016. So That's good partnership. I mean, when you look at uh, GI Plus Expo has two strong attendee bases. Uh, number one, they have a, a good group of dealers and retailers that come to the show. They're almost exclusively equipment dealers. But then a stronger part of the show is the lawn and landscape professional. Uh, we think probably 80% or 70% of the lawn and landscape professionals that go to GI Plus Expo do hardscapes, some in a very small way, some in a larger way. So the merger uh, of the two shows together just makes all the sense in the world. Your exhibitors get to see not only the Hardscape North American attendees, but they also get to see the GI Plus Expo attendee. Tell you what, those landscapers that uh, some some people do the poo-poo on, you know, because they're landscapers, I mean, they are part of our bre uh, bread and butter for our business. We sell small tools all the way up to the biggest tools in our industry. And you know what? Uh, it's still... The day-to-day -day business of, of our company is to, to PaveTech, not Hardscape, but uh, PaveTech, is to support those guys. Well, when you when you got a show that's got probably over sixteen or over six thousand, when you add them together, just landscapers, contractors, um, I'm not sure another show you can go and and and, and attend, but you'll see that many. No, uh, not that I'm aware of. And you guys, you know, how many shows a oh, year? We're down to just Hardscape North America. Are you really? Okay. We've uh, unf it's not well. The economy was one issue, okay? We dropped a number of shows. But, you know, it's interesting that after we dropped the other shows, World of Concrete, Con Ed, Con Con Expo, um, uh, some of the other more big regional shows, they never really, we could never feel the return. We could never provide that, that, that <laughs> metric or even the feel that we were getting a, a revenue return. Every decision we make and every decision everybody makes is based on business. So investment, return, what is that, ROI? And you know what? <laughs> the only one over all these years, long before H&A even became part of GIE, the only one that we could ever point to every year that we felt and saw a return was GIE. Well, the, the good part is Hardscape North America you know, is, is now up to over 30,000 net square feet of exhibit space. And that's fabulous. But what's really great for, for your attendees at H&A is that they get a chance then to walk another 200,000 net square feet of exhibit space indoors, plus another over half a million square feet outdoors. And, of course, the education program that you guys bring to the table uh, far surpassed anything that we were attempting beforehand. But what you do in the demo tent and what you guys do uh, in your education sessions, you know, every year I get notes, emails back from attendees that say, wow, I'm coming back, I, I can't go to another location and get this kind of uh, education while at the same time seeing the products. Well, we've always uh, had great respect for the World of Concrete show. I mean, well organized. They, they do well, a good job. They really do. And, and the, the part of that which always impressed me in service, serving the contractor side of our industry was the education component. And it was always vibrant, always fresh. You know, even though they had repeat stuff from year to year, they always brought in good stuff. And I see the growth of H and A, and perhaps even GIE is in general, is focusing on on serving the education need of the industries. Well, and what's cool is this year, uh, last year you guys broke attendance records. 
you know, for H and A, and I think it was forty percent above the year before. Well, the year before was a bit of a disappointment, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, that's a heck of an increase in this in this time. It's early. At this point, you're tracking over ten percent above oh, last year's number. So, well, that's fabulous. That's good. And GI Plus Expo is doing the same. Well, that's and both shows are going to be bigger. So, exciting exhibit floor, exciting concerts, unbelievable networking opportunities. It's it's a vent you can't really miss if you're in the industry. Well, that's great, Warren. I want to thank you for all the hard work. I mean, everybody in our industry it should should appreciate all that you do for us. Well, thank thank you. you. Good partnership. This is Steve Jones, Warren Sellers. Signing out.